Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you my approach to creating architectural elements such as uh, walls, windows, doors and things like that using Blender. Uh, for this video I'm going to be using Blender 2.79b because at the time of recording uh, the add-on that I'm going to be using is not available as of yet in the new Blender 2.8. By the time you're watching this video, it may have already become available. So I suggest you check out uh, Blender 2.8 if it has the add-on available. Um, and uh, if it does, you can just go ahead and use Blender 2.8. But I'm just going to be using Blender 2.79 for this case. So the add-on that I'm talking about is the new Archipack add-on. So you have to go to File, User Preferences, or if you're using Blender 2.8, you may have to hit F4 User Preferences. And then go to the add-on tab and then search for Archipack. So there's two things you can use. You can use either Archimesh or Archipack. Both these add-ons are not available in Blender 2.8 by the time of this recording. I might just start off with the Archimesh real quick because uh, this is a very basic add-on for creating architectural elements. So I guess I don't need any of this stuff. So I'll just delete everything. And to add elements from Archimesh, you simply just can go Shift A, Mesh, Archimesh, and you can add anything you like. You can add a room, you can add a, um, a door, a rail window, uh, you can add columns, you can even add stairs. So this is actually pretty useful. If you want, you can also uh, like make changes to those elements. For example, the number of steps on the stairs, you can change the width of the stairs, the depth, the shift, I don't know what that, oh yeah, that thing. Uh, and you can even adjust the thickness of the stairs and things like that. Not only that, you can do the same for the windows, the doors, but the problem with this one is once you click out of it, so for example, if I go and tab into edit mode here and then tab out, and then go back to the stairs, I've lost the the context for the, the add-on, the Archimesh add-on for the stairs, so I cannot make any more adjustment. It now becomes a final model. So that's the Archimesh add-on. So I don't really focus on that one in this tutorial. I mostly want to focus on the other add-on, the Archipack add-on. So let's go back to the User Preferences menu, and let's now untick Archimesh and enable Archipack. This is the one that I'm mostly going to be focusing on throughout this um, uh, the next series of videos. So for the Archipack add-on, you can do a few things. Uh, you can go Shift A Mesh Archipack, similarly like you did for the Archi uh, Mesh, but the way the, well, the stand way that I found to do it is to go to the, the tool tab. So hit T on your keyboard if you can't see it already. You should get this tool tab. And then go to this create, uh, this create uh, tab over here. Then scroll all the way down and you'll see this whole bunch of tools related to the Archipack add-on. So here you can start off by adding a wall. So once you add a wall, you'll see that you have a simple wall element to work with. So you have all these widgets here that you can manipulate as well. Anything that is white is manipulatable. So for example, I can click this white here and drag, left click and drag to adjust the length of the wall. And you can see how long that wall is. So in this case, this wall is 4.55 meters long, uh, 2.7 meters high, which is around the average height of uh, a floor uh, in a house. Uh, and the wall thickness is around 20 centimeters, I believe it is. Okay, so that is pretty cool. So, um, you can also add more elements to the wall. So for example, if I go ahead and in the, the tool tab over here, the N tool tab, so hit N on your keyboard if you can't see it, you can add more parts and so on. Uh, if I don't want to, if I don't like that rotation, uh, I can uh, either move this widget here and change the rotation as such, or to be accurate, I can uh, click this and type minus 90 directly and it can change the direction of the wall. So it's pretty handy stuff. So I can keep adding more parts, more parts. I can drag this out. And finally, I can say close to close off that wall. So that's pretty handy if you want to create, if you have a floor plan design and you want to create the full floor plan of your house. Okay, so that's how you add walls using the Archipack add-on. Another way to add walls is by simply clicking this draw tool over here. So if I hit draw, I can simply just draw a wall like that. And then I can continue to draw another one over here. I can draw another one like here, just directly. And they, I know it's not exactly straight. And X. 
So that constra constrains it on the x-axis. I can hit, uh, I can drag out another one, hit Y, constrain it on the y-axis, and then I can create walls that way as well. So very easy, very quick, very effective way to model a wall without having to do everything manually by hand. So even when you add a wall, you can see that you don't lose context like you, you do with the Archi Mesh add-on. So for example, if I go ahead and create, say, uh, 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 I go ahead and do something else, like add a UV sphere, and then I come back to this, I don't lose context. I can bring, I can hit manipulate again to bring back the, uh, the context info, and I can continue to make adjustments however I want to my walls. So I don't lose that context, which is very, very good and very, very effective for making tweaks and adjustments to uh, my architectural models. Everything is non-destructive. So that's pretty cool. You can also play around with the settings, like change the height, change the width of the thickness of the walls, change whatever you like, really. So that's the basics of adding a wall in the Archipack add-on. So next, once you've created your wall, you probably want to create a floor for your uh, for your walls, but since we have a very different shape for the, our floor plan, uh, you'd have to do, you'd have to find out a different way to fill up the floor. I mean, you can go into edit mode and then uh, select these faces and go ahead and hit F to fill it out to make it a filled out floor, or you could use the add-on itself. You can either hit floor and then hit, choose whatever floor you like. So maybe I might choose a herringbone type floor. You can see that there's a, a floor model has been created for you, but unfortunately it doesn't fit to the shape of this um, wall structure that we've created. So another way to do it is by selecting the wall and then instead of hitting floor, select the one next to it. To wall, I think is what it means. And then choose whatever wall you want. So maybe in this case, a herringbone again. So now we have a floor that is automatically set up for us the shape according to the walls. And of course, if you want, we can make adjustments to our floor and extend it out in any way that we like. So in this case, I don't need to make any adjustments. I'll just keep it as is. So once you've added the floor, next thing you do is add a ceiling. So again, you can do the same thing. You can just click ceiling over here and it'll automatically fit the shape of your wall structure uh, with the ceiling. And then you have your basic house now done. If you want, you can go also go ahead and add a roof. Choose whatever roof you like, round, square, Roman, let's go for a Roman. Uh, and here, uh, you can make other cool adjustments to your roof as well. Like you can choose the altitude of your roof. Uh, well, that's just the height of your roof. You can uh, choose how much of a bend your, uh, you want your roof to be. So if you want a very deep bend to your roof, you can change that slope. Um, if you have more parts to your roof, like for example, I have a parts and select another one. Uh, you can add parts like that. So for example, if you have a uh, bend to this, so for example, I want to have a 90 degree bend to this part. You can create uh, bends very, very easily and very, very effectively. And all the usual hard stuff that you do, if you had to model by hand, like modeling these things on the top and then these things on the side and then the, gut, the gutter thing as well, that's all now done for you in one, in just a few clicks pretty much. So it makes everything really super simple, super easy. You can play around with all these other settings to create uh, unique uh, roofs that can pretty much fit like 90% of uh, housing styles. Okay, so that's that. Finally, what I wanna show you is how to add uh, windows to your house. So windows, doors, and things like that. So traditionally, if you try to model a house yourself, what you would do is you go to your wall model uh, oops, sorry, your wall model, you would uh, add loop cuts over here randomly to cut out a, a sh uh, an area for the doors or the windows and then um, delete the faces there so that you leave a hole for the door and the window so you can fit your models in there. Then becomes the next tedious process of actually modeling the door and the window and then putting it in there and then making sure it uh, fits and covers the wall perfectly. That can take a long time, especially if you have a house with loads of windows and loads of doors. So luckily this Archipack add-on makes everything super simple. Sorry, my blender crashed. Uh, it's always important to save regularly. I didn't save it for this tutorial, so I had to pretty much quickly draw out another wall uh, in a few seconds over here. So what I wanna do now is I wanna go ahead and draw in a door uh, on top of the wall. So in order to do that, just click this pencil icon over here, uh, select the door type that you want. I wanna select a dual one. And then simply, it'll, it'll, you can see it will automatically uh, magnet 
or, or snap the door to the wall. So that's pretty cool. So I can just choose where I want to add my door. So maybe I want to add my door somewhere here. And you can see it automatically, just hit escape once you're done with it. Automatically, it's uh, done everything for us. It's, the, it's cut a hole in the wall for us. It's added a tort. So very quickly, you can see that it's done everything for us. It's cut a hole in the wall for us to fit the door. It's added the door in that uh, hole and everything just fits perfectly. So we can make adjustments however we want now. So for example, if I select this door, I can say I think the door is too far away over there. I can choose to change the offset, make the door come a little further. I can play around with the, say, the height of the door. Well, I want to have this high and everything adjusts in real time. The hole will be changed in real time, the hole in the wall, the door size will be changed and everything will just fit and look perfect. You don't need to worry about anything really. You just take care of the architecture, Archipack will handle everything else. So that's how you add a door. I can also go ahead and add a window. Say for example, I want to add two identical windows or three identical windows. I can add one like that, another one like that, another one like that, then hit escape. And, and then once I've done that, I can adjust all three of these settings at the same time. So in order to do that, all I need to do is, for example, I don't want the height to be as high I can, or the altitude. So I can turn down the altitude and make the window somewhere around there. Uh, I can make the window a little higher. Maybe I can add more rows to the windows, something like that. And play around with different settings over here. Uh, some of the components, maybe we don't want, we can, we don't want to, we can decide to hide the glass or not. Depends on your choice. Uh, you can show uh, the blinds, so the blinds be behind over here. Uh, you can choose to have it open or close, it really depends on you. You can make all these cool little adjustments and everything just happens in real time. So the Archipack add-on actually makes everything super simple for you and creating a house is really, really easy. So in the next video, I'll actually show a tutorial where I actually create uh, a full house using just the Archipack add-on. So I hope this video has been useful to you and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.